Good morning, Mike Chen here at the Four Seasons here in Miami. You guys, I might have found the best buffet. I know I say this often, but it's, it just keeps getting better. This is one of the most ultimate buffets I think I've ever witnessed, at least in the US. I got here a little early, so some of the food items are still cooking. So while we're waiting for that, I just wanna give a big thank you and shout out to the sponsor of this video, Surfshark VPN. I've been talking about recommending Surfshark VPN for a number of years now. Guys, if you're not using a VPN service, I highly recommend you do. As we're all traveling more during the holiday season, we're all connected to all sorts of different Wi-Fi hotspots at random hotels, train stations, airports, cafes. And a lot of times these hotspots are not very secure. They actually tell you they're not secure. And these are really good opportunities for people to gain access to your private information. And that could range from data aggregators stealing your information to sell to marketing companies, where even people getting access to your IP address and being able to track you in real time, which happened to someone I know, and that's really scary. So what a VPN is is a virtual private network and what Surfshark VPN does is that it secures and encrypts your personal information before it goes over the internet so people who you don't want having access to your private information they're not gonna have access to it Surfshark also has something called Surfshark alerts so when someone's trying to get access to something like your email you're gonna get notified right away also on an entertainment and just a practicality side if you love movies TV shows and you've gone through pretty much the entire Netflix catalog in the US you can actually use Surfshark VPN to change your location to a different country so you can can check out their TV shows and their movies. Or if you're traveling abroad, you want to gain access to your US streaming services, you can use Surfshark VPN to make those sites think you're back in the US, so you can gain access to the streaming services that you pay for. Also, a lot of websites, they just don't work when you're abroad. So I use Surfshark VPN just, just to pay my bills. So if you want to give it a try, go to my link down below, use my promo code DUMPLING. You'll get 83% off your order, plus three additional months for free, plus try it out for 30 days. If you don't like it for any reason, you get your money back. All right, I, I gotta show you guys this buffet. It's incredible. So when you go inside, there's a pastry section that looks so beautiful with all these pastries that I've seen trending on social media. They make it here. If you're into cheese, they got a lot of that as well. Plus fresh pasta bar, seafood station, and check this out. You can include it with the buffet, which is $110. You get all this working water direct from the kitchen like Cubano, Benedict, crab, avocado, toast, eggs your way, lamb kebab, snapper, there's waffles, French toast, pancakes. So this is included in your buffet. All right, let's get the first round. I am so excited. This first round is here. I, I went a little crazy. I got a lot of pastries that I've always wanted to try. This one I saw on Instagram where people waiting in line for hours for this. And this is just the most beautiful croissant known to man. There's chocolate, there's gold on top. I got some fresh cowboy steak sliced to order. Got some paella. Let's start. So inside this paella, there's fish, there's squid, there's clams. Mm, this is magical. The rice. Perfect texture, fresh clams. You taste all that delicious seafood juice cooked into every grain of rice. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mix in some of the sauce they recommended. Wow, this paella is just absolutely perfect. Squid is tender. The shrimp is scrumptious. As much as you want, fresh out of the pot. No joke. Like I said, absolutely magical. I, uh, fresh cowboy steak, like I said, sliced to water and perfectly cooked. Mm. It's smoky, it's tender, deliciously fatty and marbled, and as much as you want. They know their paella here, and they definitely know their meats. Fresh pasta, Parmesan mushroom risotto. This fresh truffle right on top of this. Risotto, absolutely perfect. It's cheesy, it's earthy, super earthy. And the truffle just completely pushes that over the top. Hundred percent order the crab avocado toast. This is just sublime. The toast deliciously crispy and buttery. The avocado provides such a nice creamy texture. 
along with a beautiful crunch from the toast as well. The egg could be a little more runny, it's still good. Also, order from the menu, the skirt steak, skewers, freshly cooked, a splash of lime juice. Mm. This place is so crazy. Every bite is just perfect. On top, scallion, some sriracha. A little sweet, a little sour, a little spicy. Mm. The middle skewer is a potato. Wow. I know this is gonna be like a pretty heavy food item. I've been dying to try this though. Mmm. That's a Nutella croissant. Oh wow, this is trouble, this is so good. Outside, amazingly flaky. Inside, stuffed with, I think it's paling cream. This whole texture is scrumptious, it's creamy, it's sweet, it's nutty. That's trouble, because I really want another one. Look at this croissant. How are you gonna take one look at this and not take it? Mm, red velvet croissant. This cream cheese inside, that's perfect. Deliciously flaky like a croissant should be. It's so airy. And the desserts here on this buffet is some of the most beautiful I've ever seen in my life. But first, more steak and seafood. Next round, lamb ravioli. God, this is amazing. Tastes like I'm getting this from a really good Italian restaurant. Sauce is delicious. They put some peanuts on here, some greens, the ravioli. The skin is perfectly al dente. The filling is deliciously cheesy and meaty. Their pasta station is off. The rails good. Wow. That's just incredible. Some porchetta with skin. Mmm. That is cooked so well. I thought that was gonna be dry, I'll be honest with you guys. It's been sitting there, no one's grabbed it yet. I thought it was gonna be dry. Absolutely not. It's fatty, it's porky. There's tons of herbs and spices stuffed inside. Mmm, unbelievable. Plus I got a piece of the skim. Oh, look at all that. Look at all that goodness is stuffed in here. Crispy skin, delicious layer of fat right underneath this. And again, taste all that garlic and herbs and spices that's right underneath as well. Look at this, I found a quesito with bacon inside. <laughs> mm, absolute must get if you ever come here. Cream cheese inside, smoky, sweet, crispy bacon stuffed into this airy, flaky crust. This bite, especially from the edge, is just absolute magic. This place, from the pastry chef to the pasta to the seafood, and I'm sure to the dessert, everything's absolutely perfect. Also, all you can eat stone crabs. Dip that in mustard or cocktail sauce. I went to an all-you-can-eat stone crab buffet, which I think well, about a year ago, and it was $130. No joke, only stone crabs, $130. This is $110. That's some of the best food you'll find at any buffet anywhere in the world. From the menu, lamb skewer. Mm. Is there anything this buffet doesn't cook well? I think not. This lamb skewer is so good. Little beet sauce and beet salad. Go with a skewer, which is beautifully charred. Wonderfully soft, so flavorful and juicy. I don't know how often they change the menu on the savory items, but if you come here and you see fire roasted lamb kebab on there, get it. This grilled branzino. Oh, this is so pretty. See all that spices on the skin? Flaky white flesh right underneath. It's delicate, it's light. The skin is crispy, it's seasoned beautifully. I like how nothing off the menu is super large so you can try a lot of different food items. Pretty much get anything off the menu. It's gonna be good. Oh, Black Forest French Toast. I'm gonna have to get that. Also, the service here is so attentive. As soon as I leave, they clear out everything. Depending on what food I have set on my table, they bring the appropriate utensils. I have some crab here, so they brought me a little, little fork for that. I've got some steak. They brought me a little steak knife for that. And this is, uh, it looks like skirt steak. It smells so good. I'm sitting right behind the charcoal grill, which I highly recommend sitting here on the patio. The smell is basically an appetite inducer. 
Mm, all the meat, just as tender as can be. Also, I think one last thing on the menu I'm gonna get, oh, I kinda want two. I got the ricotta pancakes and the Black Forest French toast with roasted shrimp. It's a tough choice. Last two items off the menu. Ricotta pancakes is surrounded by some key lime curd, poppy seed meringue, which is just cloud-like and creamy. This pancake is fluffy. The pancake itself mixed with the ricotta is just incredibly light. Like usually pancakes are super dense. That's the opposite of that. Also a little crumbly as well, with some awesome tartness from the berries to balance everything out. Mm. Also, I got the French toast with roasted cherries, chocolate ice cream. Look at this thing. Look, a thing of beauty. Roasted cherries. Heck yeah. Some chocolate ice cream. Mm. The pancakes are good. I absolutely love this. A really nice chew on the toast. The roasted cherries are phenomenal. And that in a nice melty chocolate covering the toast. Oh God, that's good. This is a perfect transition from savory to dessert. So after this, we're gonna take a look at that dessert bar. These desserts are probably the most beautiful I've ever seen in my life, especially this blue one. This looks like what King Charles should be wearing on his head. This is an alpha whore, little cookie sandwich. Mm. And it's filled with dolce de leche. This is the crumbliest little cookie I've ever held in my hand. I feel like if I insert any force, it's just gonna crumble and fall apart. A flan. Mmm. Wow, that's creamy. I mean, so creamy and silky smooth. I usually don't like flum. It's one of the best I've ever had. Here in Florida, of course, you gotta have a key lime pie. And look at this little key lime pie. It's beautiful. Light little meringue on top. Mmm, perfect little crumble. And this is definitely made with real key lime. Red velvet cake with gold sprinkles on top. Mmm. The cake is moist. I really like the crispy crumble on the bottom. This is a hefty dessert. A chocolate tres leche. Whoa, 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 whoa. This might be one of the best desserts ever created. First of all, it's a hefty portion, which I like. It's so milky. And there's cake inside as well. Topped with little crunchy balls and the softest whipped cream. Oh, this is so good. Peppermint chocolate cake. Super creamy cheesecake. Beautiful, crumbly, crushed. Tastes like New York and Christmas time. Pecan bourbon tart. Another masterfully beautiful dessert item. Mmm, very creamy on top, extremely crumbly on the bottom. Very nice. This is a coquito mousse. Coquito, which is a Puerto Rican eggnog, and it's so pretty. Oh. This is one of the best things ever, ever. It tastes like a coconutty cloud. And this mousse tastes like it was made by angels using clouds as the main ingredient. Sweet coconutty clouds. So pretty much clouds right above Miami. That's so heavenly. The most beautiful dessert of all. I don't even want to cut into it. It's Jabara mousse. Jabara, which is a type of chocolate. Wow. That's so pretty. Mmm, this thing tastes just as good as it looks. It just tastes like a really light chocolatey mousse. I don't think I've had a single bad bite here. Everything from the dishes you order from the menu to the dishes you find late now to the dessert, everything is about as masterful as can be. Everything tastes like each item was cooked to order by a master chef. Again, price tag of $110. Unlimited stone crab and cowboy steak alone makes it worth it. Everything else from the truffles to the dessert selection to the paella. Paella is just a perfect extra seafood cherry on top of an amazing buffet. I will highly, highly, highly recommend this place. Everyone's so friendly, service so attentive. If you like buffets, if you like steak, you like seafood, you like dessert, plus no one's rushing us. I think that's just Miami brunch culture. There's really, I don't think there's a set time limit. You just sit, enjoy yourself, eat as much as you can. What an amazing experience. Five stars, two thumbs up, 10 out of 10. Love it here.